Hey everybody, welcome back to our final video in this binomial expansion series. Now, there is going to be another video or two, but those will be about finding specific terms that I might be asked for. But this will be our last expansion video, and in this video I'm going to unleash one of my best tricks that I've learned along the way of expanding binomials. And you don't want to mess up and, and not watch this. And you definitely want to take notes on how this works. And here we go. So, along the way, I've tried to find ways to help people expand binomials that struggle with the, uh, the arithmetic piece, okay? So, I often tell people this is actually a better formula for expanding these things. And here's, here's why it works out nice. Okay, if you take a look here, um, this right here is your 2x and this is your 3y. But what you got to realize is we already know what's going to happen with the variable pieces with their exponents. We realize x starts off with a 6 power, right? And there is no y because it's y with a 0. Then it goes x5, y1, x4, y2, x3, y3, and so on. They all have to add to 6. So with that said, this part you have to be able to do in your head. Or not in your head, but write it down and figure out how the exponents change. x goes down by 1 y increases by 1. And it's that, that simple. Now, here comes the cool part. Now, what I've found over the years that helps folks out is you can put this in your calculator just like we did the last one, but a little more enhanced. Th this right here, well, the reason I call this a more complicated case is you got coefficients in front of your x and your y. So the way I can handle that in my calculator is I go to y equals and this time, you, you know that you're this, this part, when you see me circling right here, n choose k, it's still 6 choose x. So that hasn't changed. I'm going to put 6 uh, math, go over here, number 3. And there's, let's get our x. I want to find it there, and I'm going to start a parenthesis. Now I'm going to put my 2 in. 2 is that A right there. And you're going to have to just, like I said, we already know what's happening with the variables. We're not really worried about that. And 2 is going to be um, following this formula. It's going to become, remember your, your N is 6, so it's 6 minus X. And your B right here, the number part of B is negative 3, and we can put that in. Negative 3, close it raise it to the x, because k is x. And that should work. And let's see what we get when we go to the table. And there's my coefficients. So in other words, what we've just found is this. Oh, I wish I could show both at the same time. This guy becomes 64. The next one's negative 576. And the next one, oh come on, is 2160. And it's, notice the signs are taking care of themselves for us. And the next one is negative 4320. It's not wanting me to delete these spaces. It's giving me a tough time with that. So we know it alternates um, positive, negative, positive, negative, and that's the pattern that's going to happen. But if you put that negative 3 in those parentheses like that, like I showed you, it'll take care of it for you. The next one looks like uh, 4860, and it's positive. And the next one is almost done here. Uh, negative 2916. Negative 2916. And the final term is.
729 y to the 6th power. And that should be it. Now that one is negative, so he's positive. Anyway, so let's summarize really quick here. I know that was a little bit sloppy on my end typing that stuff in, but I think you can all see it. So that's your finished product. So what you do, you start by putting in your variable pieces, right? You know what they're going to be. You go to your calculator. You set it up with the same six choose X like we did in the last video. Then the only thing new here is you take the x, you take the coefficients and you apply them to this formula for a and b, remembering that this guy's your your n, which is six, and k becomes the x that goes into this formula. Um, this will help you a lot. Let it take care of signs for you. Use parentheses when in doubt. Use them. Um, you'll get error messages and things like that. Like I tell people, um, if you get an error message and you don't know what's going on, don't just clear everything out every time. Go to and see what happens. I've had it happen on this thing before. Um, that's going to happen to you. But uh, use your technology. Um, there might be a way to do this in Desmos. I'm not real sure. I haven't tried it. Sometimes I just stick to what I already know. Like this calculator does a great job for me. Anyway, this should be one of the better methods anybody's going to show you. Um, use it, and um, I'll see you in the next videos. We're going to talk about how to find a specific term. Uh, like the middle term and all that good stuff and they do ask us things like that so um there's tricks to it okay um anyway i uh, hope this video was helpful for you and i'll see you in the next video